Uh, let's actually uh, talk about the big story over the weekend, of course, which essentially was uh, that Hindenburg report, uh, which Nisha outlined for us so well uh, just before that break. Madhu Kela is with us. He's founder at MK Ventures. He's with us here in our studios. Uh, Madhu, great to have you with us here. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Uh, how do you pleasure coming here. <laughs> I mean, always great to see you on a Monday morning. How, how do you view this entire uh, sort of report? I mean, this uh, back and forth which has happened. Uh, what, what are the implications? Because social media, there's all kinds of stuff uh, out there floating around. I heard some people saying, well, market impact could be this, that. And I was wondering, well, why? What is what, what is the reason? Your Prashant, thoughts? Prashant, I am, uh, uh, fortunately, it came on a weekend. Mm. So I've had a chance to read through it yep. uh, fully. And uh, I read through all the responses also. Mm. See, frankly, first as a market person, I am unable to add all of these together mm. as to what is the real allegation. Mm. Like, yeah. if you are a private individual and if you have invested into uh, into some fund mm. and the uh, on the recommendation of a close friend mm. and the fund has got redeemed as soon as the friend left the job, mm. right? So what is wrong in that? Mm. You know, uh, and uh, uh, all the money which is being made mm is a legally made, there is a 30 year career behind it and you are living out of India. So what I, I can't, the second you know, the allegation is that yeah, the husband is working in uh, Blackstone. Mm. So what do, you, what do you expect to do? Mm. But is he not supposed to yep. utilize his expertise and the work which he has done, right? So I think, uh, Prashant, honestly, mm. this looks like some real big conspiracy to me. Mm. And this is not an attack on an individual group or an, on an individual. It looks more like an attack on India. Mm, right. it, it looks like an attack. You sensualize such a thing, something big is coming. Mm. Are, what is so big about it? Madam, this, this is just... And uh, after what they have clarified, see, they have had a clarification right. from IFL fund, you have a clarification from the chairperson, mm. you have a clarification from uh, Blackstone. Mm. And, 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 and I am sure those clarifications are more than clear. Mm. That no, and, and, and what I like uh, about the thing was that the clarification, the responses came very fast, right? Exactly, and because there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing was, to hide, you know. If, if you have something to hide, yeah. then you will try to take time, this, that, because there's nothing, it looks like there's nothing to hide. Mm. So I, I, I do just don't feel mm. that there'll be real any impact mm. whatsoever. And the other good thing which we've seen is that the sort of industry has come together, right? Yeah. right? And Prashant, the reason why I came today mm. in the studio, honestly, is obviously uh, I'm one call away always for all you guys. I feel this is the time when we all must stand right. behind the country. Mm. We must all stand behind the person mm. who has immensely contributed to the development of capital market. Mm. Right. And I have seen it personally, mm. right? We in, in our golden days, mm. a mutual fund, Prashant, the distribution commission used to be as high as 6%. Mm. Yeah. Where I and we have come such a long way mm. in terms of so many regulation, ease of doing business, and which has all been aimed mm. at protecting the interest of the small investor. Mm. Yeah. Right. And to malign image mm. of an individual who, to my opinion, again, I uh, it's personal opinion, I think mm. she must have contributed maximum till date mm. in in from a regulatory standpoint of view in the development of our, our markets mm. as an individual. You know, so for a bunch of people who are looking at Twitter before they look at the ticker, and you said that, uh, you know, this is obviously, it seems like a bit of a hit job against the country. What would your message to investors be and all those who are looking at the Indian stock markets who are looking at this noise on social media and are a little worried about their portfolio or what steps should be I, they I, be taking? I your would message? say that, uh, you know, first of all, you see, I think markets have been extremely resilient. Mm. Yes. And to, to, the, to, to the extent that it has even surprised an optimist like me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like we have, we have seen elections, we have seen budget, budget we have yeah. seen long-term, yes. short-term capital gains, we have seen uh, Japanese carry and <laughs> credit trade markets. Okay. So there is clear interest and equities, it seems have come a long way mm. and it has become a real asset class. First, equity was a means to make some speculative gain that mm -hmm. you get a tip and you, you come in and come out. That this is really getting as an established asset class. If this money was only going into small cap uh, mm. individual stocks, then I would be worried. Mm. But the fact that 23,000 crore rupees is coming into mutual fund, 
as an SIP. Mm. That gives me a lot of confidence. So I think from an investor perspective, because of this event, mm. and I'm very vocal, very clear, I'm mm. not mincing word. I think because of this event, I don't think investors need to worry at, uh, worry at all. I don't think this is any event which will destabilize India or destabilize the market or there is any risk to to market because of this event. Well, right. to tomorrow morning something else may happen right. which may make the market go up and down. But I would not be nervous at all because of this event. All right. So. You know, Madhu, uh, Hedenberg, when they came out with the earlier report, they made a mark on the Indian markets, right? Everyone took note of it. Do you think this recent report actually has damaged the reputation and now people will say, you know, you're not talking a anything of practical or anything of substance. You know, they have, I think for, from year on, do you think no, the no, markets continue, to, point, yes, continue yes. to ignore no, what they have to say? A brilliant point because they, before releasing this report, they should have thought about their own credibility. Mm. Right? And I, I don't think that people took the first report uh, they, they took a note of it, you know, whatever. And obviously nothing has come out. And you, if you see the group, yes. they have come out with the flying colors. Uh, uh, even post that report, mm -hmm. so much so that they did a $1 billion QIP just few days back. Mm -hmm. And absolute who and who, whether it is institutional, uh, domestic investor, global investor, uh, 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 high net worth individual, everyone has invested mm -hmm. in, uh, into the group QIP. Including me, mm, I must right. say. So I am just saying that uh, uh, that th I don't think this will go any uh, do any damage. Again, I read it to whether the group co uh, group companies or to market by and large. Mm. Madhu, uh, let's talk about. Uh, sure. Let's just keep this aside now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> only this the, much discussion is required. <laughs> <laughs> because the market also will do that, yeah, I think, exactly. as you say. Uh, how is the market itself uh, looking? Uh, so, last week was a bit, for, for two days it was a bit, looked look like a bit scary, right? I mean, uh, implied yeah. walls, etc. Is that behind us now? Uh, Prashant, no. I think let's take a practical view. Mm. We have had a tremendous gain in the market in the last three, four years. Mm. You know, even at an index level, the CAGR is more than 30%, yep. right? Individual, lot of companies mm. have gone up 1, 3, 5, 10, 20 times mm. from the COVID low. Mm. So first thing is you cannot extrapolate what has happened in the last three years. Right? When you are even investing for a long term, mm. your return expectation has to be very, very moderate right. going forward because right. over a longer period of time, mm. there is a certain basis point more than fixed income is mm. what you can make in equity. Yes. Right? Because if this kind of money is being made every day, then why will anyone do business? Everyone Maybe. will be only in the stock market, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what a lot of people also do. So, uh, if no. the company is making 18% ROE and the stock market is going to deliver 35% return, Correct. then why will any yeah. businessman do business? They will also be in the stock market. Only. Absolutely. So that return expectation has to be moderate. Hmm. Second thing, uh, that you know, there is clearly discomfort to even an optimist like me mm. in certain pockets, mm. right? So if you are investing in mutual fund, you, you do your homework, invest in good mutual funds with a track record, mm. no issues at all. But if you are investing in individual companies, mm. you should definitely be watchful mm. of what you are paying, mm. what you are assuming, mm. and then what is, what is it that the company will deliver, mm. then you make money. Mm. So that is about it. Mm. Third, is the India story from a medium to long term perspective, is it still there? Mm. The, the, the answer is a clear yes. Mm. Mm. I think the India story is still there. Mm. The, there is, if I take a 10 year average right. of Nifty valuation, Nifty is at certain premium to the 10 year average. Mm. Right. But that is for the factors which are very clearly visible. You have a stable inflation, mm. you have a stable interest rate, mm. you have a stable 10 year bond yield. Mm. You have all the macroeconomic factors have not looked as good mm. as they are right. looking today. Mm. So yes. there is certain valuation premium which is so, justified. So nifty by and large I can't see a, a euphoria in nifty valuation. Right. So no taking away from the long term structural story that India is right now. There are pockets of discomfort according to you. Then let's wrap it up with what are your pockets of discomfort and where is it that you see immediate opportunity in terms of valuation? So Mangala, where the pockets of discomforts are where the, there is only story and where the valuations are, are high. And I don't say that pockets of discomfort may be there in capital goods also. Right. It, may there, it may be there in defense companies also. It may be there in some railway companies also. So it is, okay. it is there. Uh, almost in every sector mm. where you can you can pinpoint mm. that I am not comfortable with the valuation. However, as I said, large cap companies still offer 
reasonable risk risk adjusted uh, return mm. uh, i like the pharma sector we have spoken about yeah. it uh, yeah. even last time the pharma sector has actually done select companies in it mm. look very compelling select companies in fmcg basket mm. where i think the consumption will come back mm. uh, the stock price have already started moving up okay. we spoke about the liquor sector Absolutely. which looks like a, mm. a structural long term story so i think there is enough mm. and uh, someone like me i am always open mm. to an idea mm. but i am also not hesitating in this kind of market mm. to sell companies mm. You know, wherein, wherever I don't have comfort mm. and I don't get overly worked up mm. with some amount of cash if I have created, mm. I don't. I'm not getting overly worked up. I'm very happy mm. with the return which I have made, mm. and I am very happy to underperform a little bit mm. if the if this uh, you know euphoria in certain certain pockets continues. That's well put, uh, Madhu. Great conversation. Thank you very much for dropping by. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prashant. And Just one disclosure: yeah. we spoke about individual companies, sectors. Yeah. People yeah. need to do their own work. Absolutely. Before. Uh, I think you made that absolutely amply clear that they must, right? I mean, yeah. if you uh, put money into individual stocks, yeah. uh, they must be doubly uh, sort of careful exactly. uh, because prices generally have done very well. Thank you very much. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so and, much. Uh, Thank great you so much. Uh, speaking with you. We'll.